buildings and to close roads in and around downtown New Haven. The incident left some students pretty rattled and as Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Sharon Johnson explains, local businesses also saw an impact. College Street is back open and bustling, but it was a completely different scene earlier today when police were investigating a bomb threat at Yale. We spoke with students and businesses that were impacted. I'm glad we got the all clear, but there yeah. was a moment there where I was a little concerned. The scene in New Haven this afternoon was a cause for concern as New Haven, Yale, State Police, and the FBI responded to the threat of multiple bombs on the campus. Bomb teams went building to building to search for anything suspicious. Explosive sniffing dogs searched the buildings and New Haven police brought in reinforcements to handle the large scope of the threat. Several campus buildings were evacuated and students were temporarily displaced. It was just super sudden um, and I feel like a lot of people like didn't have the things they needed from their like rooms. There's obviously like a small part of me that were like this could be serious because Yale is such a big institution like people would target it. Some students hunkered down at nearby Blue State Coffee while they waited. So we just got more of a rush than we were like used to since everyone was coming out of the door kind of had needed somewhere to go. Parts of York, Elm, College, and Crown Street were closed for hours, and that caused a decline in customers for some businesses. Today was a little weird with the closure. Normally we have a few um, class groups that like to come here for happy hour, um, or even professors that like to come here after seminar or what have you. We didn't quite see that today. Yale is back to normal tonight. No word yet on who called in the threat to the school's non-emergency line. And I think it was more just annoying than anything else. And New Haven officials say that the downtown area has been deemed safe. All businesses are back open and back to normal. Reporting in New Haven, Sharon Johnson, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.